Alice, and today I'll be your tour guide. Jimmy's currently setting everything up to getting you hooked up with StreetNet. No time to chill. Get your stuff and take the wheel. Welcome to Sunset City. serious skills on the road. Our city is huge. It's easy to get lost here. I'll set a route to the port in the navigator. There's a surprise waiting for you there. Done. Let's go. Damn it! That was intense. We're almost there. Just halfway to go. like the surprise. These are all Jimmy's cars that he's had since the beginning of his career. Choose whichever you like best. They're all good. It's my first drive in Carhegg Street. Um, it's different. Took me a little while to figure out how to map everything, but um, my e-brake did not map. Just a regular, you know, cheap eBay USB handbrake, and it did not map. Unfortunately, I'm using the trigger on my shifter instead, which is, I guess, usable. It's not quite the same. doesn't feel right. I gotta say, the, the graphic quality is not what I expected, and this is on Ultra. Um, it does, however, remind me quite a bit of Underground 2. 
which I guess is a plus. <laughs> um, unfortunately, a lot of the car physics kind of also remind me of Underground 2. Uh, it does not feel like what I'm used to with Car X, at least on PC. Um, part of that may just be because I have a vehicle I really can't tune much, and um, I'm definitely not used to. Probably picking the, the pickup was the best choice for this. Oop, over the curb. Um, I mean, I'm not complaining. The game is $20, and we've waited for this for way too long. But, considering that we've waited for this for way too long, I kind of had certain expectations of it, and can't say it's holding up to that yet. I mean, maybe when I get further into the game, it will. I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. Um, and although I, I mentioned Underground 2, realistically, it reminds me of another um, competing game. I'm thinking, I don't really need to mention it. You, If you've played it, you know what I'm talking about. Um, since it's also a drifting game for the most part. But it is open world. Nice rig. <laughs> sort of. Um, you're missing that trailer there, bud. Again, like I said, I'm not complaining about it. I'm just point out things I've noticed so far playing it. Um, I mean, it's entertaining and it seems to have a ridiculously large map. I kind of cruised around in it for a few minutes before actually starting the video, but I didn't really get a whole, whole lot of driving in with that. Um... The initial race wasn't much, ooh, wasn't much good either because um, it wouldn't let me map my wheel right away. So I did that on the keyboard, and that was not fun. Although the race itself looked like it would have been really cool otherwise. And I gotta say, the further I get into this, I'm also getting some serious crew Mutterfest vibes here. Um, the people with blinkers on all the time, that's just getting annoying. Especially when they don't actually turn in the direction they have their blinker going, so... It is what it is. I mean, right now I'm just kind of cruising around, getting a feel for the game, getting a feel for, whoa, for my vehicle. Getting a feel for the stupid AI. Um, I mean, after all these years playing Car X Drift, it's kind of weird to be broke and have to start from the bottom. Um, <laughs> I mean, I have a car, but it's not set up the way I want, and it doesn't have enough power, doesn't have enough tuning options, and it looks, it looks like you have to pay to tune everything. So, if you're changing your tune, you might want to make sure whoa, that you're going to be happy with what you're doing, because it's not like in Car X Drift where you could just go and change your tune anytime. Apparently you got to pay for this. But, like, I've somehow managed to gain uh, 15,000 credits just cruising around the city. So, maybe money's not that big a deal. I guess I'll find out as I play longer. I'm trying to drift a little, and it's not going well either, obviously. Whoa. And for some reason, this keeps jumping into neutral. Apparently I now have 14, 15 miles on this truck, or kilometers, I guess.
I mean, I'm trying to get a, a bit of a feel for the drift physics too, because they are different. Or maybe, again, maybe just because I have a vehicle that isn't tuned very well and hasn't been upgraded much. I guess I'll figure it out, figure it out as I go along here. You know, you'd think a pickup truck would be fairly easy to drift. I mean, at least fairly easy to get the rear end to slide, and it's not happening. There we go, a little bit. Whoa. Apparently, Clutch Kick is my friend. Uh, nice little residential area, maybe? Who knows? Maybe not. the yellow truck again. Still with no trailer. Whoa. Jumped out of gear again. And again. That's weird. Not sure if that's the game or my new shifter. Either way, I'm having fun playing with it. Whoa. And neutral again. Ah. I'm sure at some point I'll figure out why my e-brake isn't working and get that mapped properly. But right now, I'm just going to cruise around and have some fun. I'll get back to you later on this and let you know how things are going with it. Uh, so far, so good. Can't say I regret spending the $20. Hopefully it's a game I enjoy, and hopefully I get to share a bunch of it with y'all. Have a good one.